All right, so we're going to do a pepper review on this pepper. I reviewed it last year, but I need to revisit this pepper this again this year. And the main reason for that is is because a different pepper shape is coming out of it than what I originally reviewed last year. But I kind of knew it wasn't something wasn't right. So I bought this pepper. This pepper is called the Royal Black. Now I bought this pepper last year and I planted a couple seeds out of it and what came out was the Black Pearl or Black Marbles pepper. But it came out of the Royal Black pepper package. So I rolled with it. I kept it going. Now Nonetheless, this is definitely a different phenotype altogether, and so we're going to revisit this one. I'm just going to call it Royal Black. The other one I called Royal Black Marbles Pepper, and I, because I wasn't sure if it was the Royal Black or the Marbles. So when I did a image search on what the Royal Black should look like, and I did an image search on what the Black Marbles or Black Pearls Pepper should look like, they were kind of co-mingling in between both peppers so I didn't know which was which because every time I did a search on it both peppers would come up so they were kind of commingled together so in this video I'm going to kind of straighten that problem out and I want to make sure I'm very clear on this for you pepper collectors and you want to make sure you're able to identify your peppers correctly because this is some of the problems you're going to deal with when you're buying peppers from these large seed companies because it's not their fault necessarily. Sometimes some seeds do get mixed in because of the seed sorting process they use. It does happen, not the end of the world. But you need to be able to identify what it is you grow in and know that you are getting the right plant and seed. And that's why, that's the purpose of my videos. So here's what the true royal black pepper should look like. This is the phenotype, this is the plant type, and this is the way it should look. The royal black, as it should look, is generally a black stem or a dark stem right here, as you can see. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing is, it is a narrow leaf. Okay, even though this leaf is larger, it's still a narrow leaf. And it's an upright pepper. Make sure you keep that in mind. See how they're upright? And it's one pepper generally coming out of the node. And the pepper itself is generally a conical pepper and not a round little black pearl pepper. So if you're getting, if you're growing this plant and you're getting one upright pepper and it's round, that's not a black, um, royal black. If you're getting multiple peppers coming up out of the node with round heads on it, that's not a royal black that's something else this is what a royal black should look like it should be an upright pepper and there should be a little bit uh, shadowing on the pepper of black on it and if it's in direct sunlight you're gonna get a lot more than just a little bit of shadowing the leaves should have blackening of leaves or fully black or mostly black on the leaves stems should be black stems are smooth it doesn't have any pubescence on the stem and the flowers, unfortunately, I, I wanted to get the flowers to this, and I don't have any more flowers left. It's the end of the year now, so it dropped all its flowers, or it's turning the flowers into fruits. But I think the flowers were, were an interesting-looking flower on this. It was like um, it was like white with a purple edge around the end of the flower. I should, If I get images of it online, I'll try and include them in the video. If not... You'll just have to wait. Maybe I'll come back to it next year and I will try and uh, get images of that flower. It's really important you see the flower because that's really what determines what variety you generally are growing. That has a big determining factor in it. So let's pick one of these. I'm going to pick that first one off that node. And this is what the pepper looks like. Okay. Kind of like a narrow, skinny little pendant point pepper. It does grow like this, grows upright. Okay, and you can see there's some purpling on the end of the stem here. And that is what the cap looks like. So this is what a true royal black pepper looks like. Now there is another version of this pepper where the pepper isn't upright. It looks Everything looks the same. Except it's not upright, it grows down. It kind of hooks down like that and the pepper hangs down. That's a different variety of pepper, very similar to the Royal Black, except it's not a Royal Black. It's something different. 
to, it could be a subspecies, it could be a cross, a hybrid, who knows. But it's this is a true royal black. A true royal black is supposed to be upright, okay? So, I'll give you a quick look at that. Zoom you in on it. Zoom you out. And let's give this a taste test. All right, here it is. This is the true royal black. And I finally got a seed out of that package that wasn't crossed. Who's seed did it come from i don't remember at this point and it's not i'm not going to necessarily put the person down or the company down because they're getting the seeds all mixed up it happens so i'd say probably 40 percent of the seeds that i buy from seed companies 40 percent of the time they are not what i ordered in the package now for example i ordered um the yellow ricotto pepper and i don't know what's coming out of it some kind of a giant yellow i don't know maybe Buccioloki or something's coming out of it, and it's not a ricotto pepper. It could be a hybrid too. I don't know, but it's definitely not the ricotto pepper because I know what the ricotto pepper looks like, and it's not a ricotto coming out of it. So, and I just shot a video on it, and I have to reshoot the video because I realized I just shot the video on the wrong pepper that came out of the wrong seed package. So this will happen from time to time, even to the best of us. And I really try my best to try to make sure seeds do not cross in my seed packages. But every now and again, a seed will end up in a package. One or two, three or four, that does happen. So, but it's different when you get seeds where every other seed is coming up something different than what you should get. That's poor seed separating, uh, you know, that's poor seed separation, you know, and you need to, critique your seed separating process a little bit more if you're getting that problem so i do everything by hand so my seeds are very specifically select though every once in a while a seed could fly out of one plate fly across the room it has happened you know 10 feet away and land on the plate and i'd never know it and there's one seed from another plant that, so it does happen but in this particular case i was getting black pearl peppers coming out of the royal black pepper and <clears throat> how that happened, I don't know. I don't know why you would want to sort black, royal black peppers in the same machine you just sorted uh, pearl black peppers in. Uh, why would you do that? You should just completely use a different seed type. So if it does cross, the buyer would immediately know is that particular variety is not what they purchased. I don't know. That's me though, right? But anyway, uh, it does happen, and this year we're going we're gonna to revisit this pepper, the Royal Black, and this is the correct version of it. It grows individual peppers off of each node, doesn't come out in clusters, doesn't hang down, it comes straight up. That is what you're supposed to see. So that is the true Royal Black. All right, so let's give it a bite and see how hot this sucker is. Well, right out the gate, it was kind of on the tangy side. Not much sweetness. Sweetness was very low on it. I'm, it, I'm rubbing my nose because I'm trying to prevent myself from sneezing. It's one of those peppers that want to get you to sneeze. <clears throat> there is heat on it. And I'm letting the heat build right now. Um, it had a nice peppery flavor. No fruitiness to it at all. It was definitely like um, in the cane side of flavors, if you want to put it somewhere. There is heat on it. This thing is picking up heat quite rapidly, and it is getting quite hot. Squeeze the seeds out, and I'll finish that. Whenever I eat peppers, you'll see me rub my nose a lot. I get all itchy around the mustache and the nose area when I eat peppers. Oh my God, it's such itching. Get tickly, not itchy, but like tickly. 
Okay, this thing is hot. This thing's got some heat on it. I'm going to put this between, right now, I'm putting this pepper somewhere around 8 to 10,000. The whole top of my tongue is fired up. It's, it's slightly going under the tongue and around the edges. Very little burn around the back of the throat, but a little bit there. There's definitely a little, a little bit of something there. So far, it's not a gut bomb. And it is hot. It's almost making my eyes water. That heat number is starting to go up. Whew. That heat number is starting to pick up. This is a hot one. Right out the gate, 10,000. Between 10 and 12 right now. That's going up. And we're talking Scoville units. I call them BTUs once in a while. Scoville units, BTUs, whatever you want to call it. That number's going up, man. Man, this thing is definitely cooking. Whole top of my tongue is burning right now. Now the back of the throat is starting to feel it. Took a little while to get to the back of the throat, but a little bit around the tonsils. Top of the tongue feels burned. That's all I can say. But it's a nice heat. It feels like it, we're hitting the apex now. It's getting ready to come down off the heat. Not bad at all. Definitely um, a nice pepper. The tanginess was a little strong this year. A lot of my peppers are very tangy this year. I'm not used to that as much. But yeah, there's some tanginess going on. And I'm not quite sure what this tanginess is, but it's not just that pepper. It's a lot of peppers randomly doing this. Um, with this tanginess. I think it's just simply the the um, the heat and the humidity will cause peppers and tomatoes to get kind of a you know somewhat of a tangy flavor to it but um, he's coming down it's not bad um, it's not it wasn't a bad little experience this it, is pretty doable it's definitely over a jalapeno Definitely, definitely over that. We're talking between probably ten to fifteen thousand Scoville units. Might even be a little higher than that. Uh, the heat is direct, but it did kind of take a little bit of time to creep up on you. So you might eat it, and not think that it's coming in. It'll come in. It wasn't a gut bomb. wasn't feeling crappy in the stomach or anything like that. Um, it almost made my eyes water. I almost sneezed a couple of times, so that it has that kind of capsaicin into it that just kind of tickles your nose. Um, but it's a good pepper. I would definitely grow this. If you grow it out in direct sunlight, it'll get a lot darker and blacker than what you've seen here. Definitely grow it out in much brighter sunlight, and you'll get a very beautiful plant. You'll get a lot of peppers off it, and it's just, uh, it's just a wonderful pepper. But I really needed to reshoot this video on this because... I, I wasn't clear as to what a royal black should look like and after further research and, and having gone through the first video and finding out that the royal black that I grew the first time was really a royal black marbles pepper or pearl pepper or black marbles or black pearl or whatever you want to call it. was not This wasn't the true identity of this pepper and now this year we are showing you the true identity. That is what you should be seeing. Okay, so that is the true royal black. So... If I get enough of these off of here, which it looks like I might, I guess I'll offer seeds on my website for a limited time and make them available to you if you're interested in buying the true Royal Black Pepper. And that's it. That's your pod review for the Royal Black. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.